Are you a victim inside the relationship? Now, this is a very hard one because victims find it very difficult to identify themselves as victims because they use language that identifies them to everybody else as a victim, but they don't see it as being a victim. They see it as trying to stand up for their rights. And where this came from was when they were growing up with their parental role models, they felt like they had no control. They felt like they were always a victim to what was going on around them. And so they became used to, they became conditioned to the fact that life is going to be tough. Life is going to be tough on them and they're always going to have to struggle. Now, that is not the case. But when you believe that, you'll start making choices that reinforce that belief. And how it shows up inside a relationship is the victim is always feeling like I can never do enough. They'll be giving. They'll be working hard, but when their partner withdraws love, and then generally they'll choose an avoidant style of partner. And when their partner goes into that style, is triggered into that style and starts to withdraw, then their cry will be, poor pity me. This always happens to me. And inside the relationship, unfortunately, they now play the blame game where they're blaming either their partner or life. And that can send them into anxiety or depression, which they would have experienced as a child as well. So recognizing that the language you're using is driving you towards feeling like life is against you, that things always never go right for you and are always happening to you, creates this victim mentality. Now, you can break out of that. And if you're with a, a victim mentality person, you can help them because generally if you're with a victim mentality person, you'll be more of a positive style person looking at perhaps sometimes too positive um, in life and creating a dynamic where there's this seesaw effect inside the relationship. They're going to victim and you're going to being way too positive. And that reality needs to shift. You need to find a balance between those two things. And how you help your victim partner do that is you start to give them an overview of actually what's going right. Now, not too positive, but you start to help them see that you're playing this seesaw relationship by having a, an in-depth relationship discussion with them. And that always helps. Now, you might think they're going to be avoidant or resistant to having that conversation, and you may have to have it a few times. But certainly show them this video, discuss it with them, and gradually break out of that pattern that you're in. It's a very destructive one. It makes relationships eventually grind to a halt and break down because the victim eventually becomes depressed by it and the over-positive person eventually can't keep running around carrying uh, the person that's in the victim role. So if you're in that type of relationship, I hope this has assisted to give you some clarity. And if you need some assistance to move through the phases that are necessary to break out of this pattern, uh, we're here to help. And we'd love to have a conversation with you in a free discovery call with uh, one of our facilitators, uh, one of our coaches that will assist you. Thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it.